Okay, we're now going to look at two port network parameters, which are going to be used to calculate the feedback parameters for various types of amplifier networks. So in our two port networks, we're going to be able to monitor either the voltage or current at the input ports or the output ports. And the connections that we have at the input ports and output ports are going to define these. We use Z parameters when we're looking at a transconductance amplifier. Remember that a transconductance amplifier takes an input of voltage and outputs a current. And the feedback network needs to be the opposite of that. It takes an input voltage, uh, sorry, an input of a uh, current and outputs a voltage. Our Z parameters are defined by the following matrix equation. Here, if we want to solve for any one of the parameters, we need to isolate the appropriate uh, input uh, parameter in order to do so. So for instance, if we wanted to find Z11, we would say that it equals V1 over I1 when I2 is equal to zero. Our feedback parameter, beta, is always defined by the 1, 2 parameter. So in this case, beta is equal to Z1, 2, and Z1, 2 is equal to V1 over I2 when I1 is equal to 0. Now how do we make I1 or I2 go to 0? Well, currents are equal to zero when they are driven into an open circuit. So if we keep the port at port one open, then that would mean I1 was equal to zero. Or if we keep the port at port two open, that would mean I2 is equal to zero. Another example, if we were looking for Z22, it would be equal to V2 over I2 when I1 is equal to zero. Now for these networks, we're almost always going to be able to ignore the T1 parameter. So in this case, we'll be able to ignore Z21. All right, next, next let's look at Y parameters. Y parameters are used for trans-resistance amplifiers. In other words, a Y parameter is used when our input to the network is a current and our output to the network is a voltage. They're defined by the following matrix equation. Here again if we're trying to isolate one of the parameters, for instance Y11, it's equal to I1 over V1 when V2 is equal to 0. Y12 would be equal to beta, and this is equal to I1 over V2 when V1 is equal to 0. How do we make V1 or V2 equal to 0? Well, we know that the voltage at port 1 or port 2 would be equal to 0 if they were short-circuited. So to make V1 equal to 0, we would short-circuit port 1. To make V2 equal to 0, we would short-circuit port 2. What we notice about both Y parameters and Z parameters is that all of the parameters have the same form. In other words, for Z parameters, all of the parameters Z11, Z12, Z21, and Z22 are impedances. In other words, they're ratios of voltage over current. Y parameters are all ratios of current over voltage. 
The next two parameter sets that we're going to look at are called hybrid parameters because each of the parameters is different. In other words, they aren't all the same in terms of their parameter values. So let's look at H parameters, which are used for voltage amplifiers. Our H parameter matrix is given, the equation is given by the following. So here is our matrix equation. We can see that we have a blend of voltages and currents at the input and output. If we want to find H11, H11 is equal to V1 over I1 when V2 is equal to zero. In other words, we're finding the impedance looking into the input port when the output port is short-circuited. H12, which will be our beta term for this type of network, is equal to V1 over V2 when I1 is equal to zero. In other words, we're finding our open circuit voltage gain going from port two to port one. H22 is equal to I2 over V2 when I1 is equal to zero. In other words, we're finding the output admittance when the input port is open circuited. All right, our last set of parameters are called G parameters. This is another type of hybrid parameters and they're used for current amps. They're given by the following matrix equation. Now we can find G11. G11 is the input admittance when the output port is open circuited. In other words, I1 over V1 when I2 is equal to zero. G12 is our beta term. It's equal to the current gain when the in, when the when port number one is short circuited, in other words, I1 over I2 when V1 is equal to zero. We can also find G22, which is the output port impedance V2 over I2 when the input is short circuited, in other words, V1 is equal to zero. All right, so we're going to deploy these network parameters in order to find out what our feedback factor beta is in a general case for any type of amplifier once we identify whether the amplifier is to be used for transconductance, transresistance, voltage, or current gain. We'll learn how to identify that on the next, in the next set of videos.